This is Minecraft. Boring, dumb, stupid, sad. And this is modded Minecraft. New, fresh, and oh god, what's that? Salutations. My name is Eclipse, EQ for short, and welcome to 100 Days Modded Minecraft. 1.19, all the mods 8, version 1.5, Delta Alpha Bravo, Deluxe Edition, new Funky Kong. I'm gonna survive 100 days in hardcore on what this calls all the mods 8. It's the eighth one. Let's just get started. Oh, and if you enjoy, subscribe, like the video, and make sure to come. Day one, I spawned in my new world that I'll be subjected to for the next 100 days. Got some wood and took in the lay of the land. This mod uses biomes you go instead of biomes o plenty like every other mod pack, so everything looks just a bit different. Oh, and this blimp. Yeah, that's a bit different. I climbed the ladder and snuck my way through the blimp so I didn't die on day one. I was trying to see if there was any good loot on this aircraft. It's a blimp in the sky. It has to have something, right? It did. Redstone comparators. Wonderful. Next time a skeleton comes around, I'll bore him to death with and and or gates. I think that's what you're supposed to say. I know nothing about redstone. Not too long after, I jumped ship and found myself in another dungeon. And here's me trying not to die violently on day one. I did manage to find gear in here, but it's only chain metal. That's fine though, because it gives me an extra heart. Only a little, but I mean, that's better than nothing. Day two and we're still in the mines, but I think I'm gonna get the hell out of here, cause big solid this. There's too much shit going on down here. We got a deadline to meet, boys. I'm getting the hell out of here. We're gonna go make a house or something. Whilst running around outside looking for a home or a place to live or anywhere that isn't gonna kill me immediately, I found the Skyrus biome, which has green apples fall out of these trees and they make a great source of food early on, so that's covered. I also found a mine colonies village. I learned that it's a shit village cause it has really nothing going for it in terms of villagers, but hey, it's a place to sleep for the night. All right, Alan, chill. Alan, we don't gotta act like this. We can be civilized. Alan! 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 You fucked, Alan. You were never worth anything. I am better than you. I am better. Those are bosses, and they spawn all the time. Killing them gives good loot, but they are kind of tough. So I'm staying the hell away from Alan. Day three, I ate fruit, and it gave me two more hearts because of SOL, slice of life, carrot mod. Every couple foods, I get a few more hearts to add to my oh shit, don't die fund. I was looking for a proper spot to base up when I found a puppy. Puppy? Hold on. I got a Shiva! Okay, we're gonna build the shit shack. Here it is. Bonk, 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 bonk. Like my song? Hold on, wait, I have a shovel for this. I have <clears throat> Alan's lengthy mahogany excavator of quarrying. It's made of fucking wood, so I don't know how, how much this is gonna excavate. Oh, uh, yeah, no, I, I, I definitely feel the quarry vibes. Yeah, this is... That's a quarry right there. Okay, good. Today I built a shitty shack. I mean, look, this fucking windows are made of pumpkins. It was the best I had. But it keeps me safe for the night, and after having problems getting my sheep to enter the pumpkin hut, I spent the night trying to get acquainted with this new world and all the mods that I have at my disposal. Come on, inside. Are you too fat for the door? It's fine, we don't need the door anyway. Just, just come inside. Perfect. After researching for the night, I found the best gear that we can make early on is refined obsidian. So we gotta go for that. You can awaken it? It's asleep? The chest plate's not, the, the chest plate's snoozing? Okay, good news. One thing about the Shiba, it does nothing in combat. It just kind of looks at me derpily. Thank you. Thank you, that really helped. Day four, and I'ma be honest, this pumpkin hut of fuck is not a great place for me to live, so I'm off looking for an actual place to live again. I couldn't seem to find anywhere that welcomes me until nightfall in this tundra. I found a huge house with a villager called the Gatekeeper. After some negotiation, I inherited his place and set up my belongings. While looking around his my house though, I found all these items from the Blue Skies mod. What the hell is that? 
I genuinely have never heard of that mod, and I've been playing... I hit my cup. I genuinely have never heard of this mod, and I've been playing modded Minecraft for over two and a half years. The gatekeeper, the guy I have living downstairs, is from it too, so... This is interesting. Day five, I found a pneumatic craft house right next to my own, and to keep the housing prices low, I dismantled the whole place, which led to me finding out that my house is right outside of a whole village, not just next to a stray house that no longer exists. <laughs> Good house? Village? Now I just need a mine and we're set. I decided to make it in my house, and as I dug down, I found a fucking cave. Okay! It's frightening down here, and I haven't done anything yet! Not a normal cave, a fucking cave. Cause this shit was huge, and it fucked me up. This place did have a lot of good loot though, and I found diamonds, gold, iron, osmium, and practically everything I need to make that refined obsidian. But refined Dobby isn't as easy as stick it in a furnace and let it cook, so now we have to get scientific. Day six, I'm making said machines. I need a metallurgic confuser, coal generator to power it, osmium compressor. Honestly, tons of stuff I should maybe be making like halfway into these 100 days. I barely have enough resources to build anything. In truth, I did have to go back down to the cave a couple times to get a few stray ores. I even went down to a cobblestone pickaxe because all my iron was used to making the machines, but this is gonna be worth it, I promise. Day seven, we're at the final steps to make refined obsidian ingots. I just need diamonds to get the obsidian. Go fucking figure, huh? Hey, I was just talking about you, little blue rocks. I headed back to my base after I made a refined obsidian pickaxe to go get more diamonds. See, I need to turn diamonds to diamond dust just to make one refined obsidian. So if I need 30 refined obsidian, I need 30 diamonds. So, fuck it. We're back in the mines, day eight, and I'm getting tons of diamonds. This bled into day nine as well, and speaking of bled, as the night fell on the world, I was greeted with this fucking message. Oh, fuck you. Oh, this is in the, uh, at the time where I'm just chilling on a magma block? At the bottom of the ocean. This is probably actually the safest place to be. I'm just going to hold shift all night. Oh, fuck you. Blood moon? Really? If you don't know what a blood moon is, it's when a red moon rises in the night sky and about a million mobs now can spawn. They don't care about the light level. They're stronger, and I'm pretty sure their dicks are bigger. So I'm going to stay underwater, underground, and just let this night pass. While I was down here though, I sucked on a lollipop, cause I'm a big boy, and it gave me the effect called Gold Sight. I'll quickly explain this. Gold Sight, or any sight effect, gives you basically x-ray to find that specific ore till it wears off. It lasts 10 minutes for me, so I spent all night of the dreaded blood moon just getting fucking gold. Nearly broke my pickaxe, but it's all right, I'll just make more. I managed to get two and a half stacks of gold at the dawn of the Blood Moon setting, and now it is day 10. Day 10, I was in the shop just making tons of refined obsidian, and now I can actually take on more than like two hits from a skeleton. Day 11, look at that drip. Yeah, I sure do look good. And broke, very broke. I used all my diamonds to make this gear. I'm very broke. <laughs> Well, if we're heading in the mines again, I'm gonna need more storage. So I made myself a backpack and then got too big for my britches. Fighting this boss almost killed me. I did fight another one, but this time the boss dropped a badass sword that has leech a billion on it. It also had a socket slot, which is where I can put all those gems that I've been finding in chests that you may have been seeing. I put one of the gems on and I made this sword that can actually hold its own even though it's just iron. It's kind of annoying because it's better than my refined obsidian sword that I just fucking made, but it's whatever. I'm not gonna complain. It's got leech a billion on it. Day 12, would you look at that? I'm getting more fucking diamonds. And we're making even more refined obsidian. Okay, this is probably the last time I'm gonna make any, but now I've got swords, picks, and gear so I can survive a proper expedition or quest. And above all the monster slaying and dick saying, I gotta fucking live. Cause if not, this is 13 days, not 100. So we're decked out now, we're, we're good. Just keep that in, Thomas, I don't fucking care. Day 14 and I'm confident enough that now, that, 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 that I'm con subscribe! Day 14 and now I'm confident enough to get out in the real world. I went exploring and I found this. Oh, fuck. This is in this? No way, all right. All right, big fuck off. I've seen one of these in my better Minecraft 100 days before, so I know how to cheese these. Getting to the top of the towers, there's like eight wither skeleton spawners, but it's the middle of the day, so no one's gonna be spawning. So I snuck behind the logs and just took them out, opened the chest, and got hit with the mother load. Tons of gapples, gems, gold, diamonds, emerald, penis, 
badass gear, it was insane. I maxed out all my carrying capacity, so I dipped, shoved everything in a barrel, and came back to the fuck, fuck, shit, fuck the f scribe. I maxed out all my carrying capacity, so I dipped, shoved everything in a barrel, and came back to fuck up the dungeon from the top down. However, right before I went in, I ate some lollipops again, trying to get like strength or something, but instead I got regen three for 10 minutes and flight for 10 minutes. Well, when the game just gives me the finest cheese, you think I'm gonna tell it to fuck off? Hell no. I ran through the dungeon and got tons of bullshit loot and a lot of bookshelves. Uh, Thomas, don't you dare keep that in. Thomas, you will be fired. I looted everything, got a lot of bookshelves. That's the main thing here. That's the, you know, easiest way to get enchanting. I just stole their bookshelves instead of sugarcane. Fuck that shit. But whenever I left, a blue moon rose. And no, I'm not talking about the beer. Although with how some of the rest of this video goes, I might need a couple of those. No, a blue moon making me extra lucky. Sadly, I didn't get to capitalize on it much since I just spent the night going home. Day 15, I made a portal to the nether, not trying to waste any time. I could practically hear the ender dragon crying already, and I'm ready to go take her the fuck out. In the nether, I found a piglin village and marked it for later. And then a hoglin spawned whose name was, and I quote, Kinky Fish the Mean. I gimped Kinky Fish the Mean. He had like 300 health and 25 defense or some shit. I don't know. What I do know is that it took forever to get this fucking guy deaded. But I did, and no, the loot wasn't worth it. You know, I take it back. Bring back the basalt biomes. They're much easier to deal with. I, I didn't think it could possibly get worse than a fucking basalt biome. Yet here we are, the magma wastes. Day 17, I found me a fortress, and obviously, I bopped a lot of blazes. I also found this piece of vibranium, which is pretty cool, and then got out of this hellscape before it claims my life or I have to fight another kinky pig. Day 18, and okay, everyone that's a regular viewer of this channel, brace yourself. Don't get too excited. Everyone else, I'm sorry for what's about to happen. D18, I had so much shit at this point that I had to put in random barrels, so it's time for... Organization! Yeah, we do that a lot here. Basically, for the next few days, I tried to compartmentalize all my shit and make it nice and pretty. Well, except for day 19, where I had a conniption fit. Why are the red barrels bullshit? Purple, beautiful. Orange, great. Cyan, nice. Red, bullshit. Urgh! My OCD is conking me in the head. Keep knocking, nobody's home. Okay, yeah, sure, that makes sense. Yeah, now the barrel's just the color white because I mixed blue and red. That makes white, yeah, doesn't it? That makes the color white. That's that's the color it makes, yeah, okay. What the fuck is this mod? No, wait, it, that's still also spruce barrel. Why does it look different now? What? Huh? Ah! Ah! Day 20, I did finish my organization and losing my mind over barrels. Afterwards, I ate some pork chops and got a health boost, then set off to enchant. I really wanted Fortune 3, obviously, that's like the first thing everyone gets. And with the amount of mining I've done in this 100 days, it's gonna be fucking needed. And would you know it, I got it first try. I got it first fucking try. Oh, 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 hell yes. First try, Fortune 3. Yes. Day 21 and we back in the mine. Uh, okay, if you don't get that reference, get the fuck off my channel. You're too young to be here. Oh, man. Day 22, I found a singular sad diamond, a spawner, and dark gems, which I'll probably never use. Day 23 was a bit more interesting as I walked up on a chest and it started to fucking eat me. Yes, I got vored by a chest. Don't look that up. I killed this fucker and he dropped a leprechaun hat. I'm not even going to try to do an Irish accent lest I offend all of my potato-loving patrons. Please, please don't unsubscribe, please. It was just once, please. Look, I had to, it was funny, please. Day 24, I found a trident as well, which is sick. I also discovered this dungeon, which I thought to be a stronghold, but it turns out it's just a spawner thingy. So all in all, good mining trip. But the best part of it all, the coup de fucking gras of this trip was on the way back. Master Mike is a bee. A bee. What? The bosses that spawn in this mod actually have tiers. Uncommon, rare, epic, and legendary. Which Mike is. Now, that means he's gonna try to kick my ass. Or at least he would if Mike didn't end up being a B. So, uh... You were not important. I have lied. 
Y'all are very important because there are many of you. Frank's Darwin's. Okay, whoa. Holy shit. Hold up. That's insanity. Also, these have empty sockets. Yo! I'm going to have more health than God! Then, another legendary bee spawned, and they dropped some crazy shit, but we'll get to that in a moment. See, we have tons of gems, and this gear that dropped from the bees have tons of sockets, and they give us a lot of health boost. Plus the SOL carrot mod giving us a couple hearts more than normal, and all those sockets put into place. And I know you probably haven't paid much attention to the health bar these 100 days, unless I was about to die, like in day one, but now you might wanna. Bam. 50 hearts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is just bullshit. This is just bullshit. It's just unfair. It's just unfair. That's so many hearts. Day 26, and now that I'm stronger than my piss current in the morning. Yeah, I can't even justify that one. I found me a village that I might want to come back to, but one really important part of the- Fuck it, suck a fucking cluck! A, a buck! Duck! Fuck! But one really important part of this venture was these. These are turquoise blocks, and I can only find them in this specific house. Want to know how I know? The Blue Skies book told me. It says they're blocks that are used to make the portal frame to the Everbright. So I snagged the fuck out of those. Day 27, with the help of the gatekeeper, I opened the portal to the Everbright dimension and got spawned in the middle of the fucking ocean. I made a boat and made my way to the mainland where I saw this massive ass green structure. I was really confident I could fuck it up, what with my 50 hearts and all, but when I broke blocks, I got a notification saying that my tools don't do dick here, and I worry that will translate to my armor as well. So with caution, I yeeted out of that dimension and went back home. I spent the rest of the day researching the new dimension I found, and I found out that ATM, or all the modium gear, will actually work really well in the Everbright. So put that on the list of shit to do. Speaking of shit to do, I'm smelting gold all day. Nothing groundbreaking, to be fair, but at night it got real spicy when I found a legendary goat, which when killed, which was a fucking process by the way, dropped a wooden pickaxe. To be fair, it's got a lot of enchants on it, but it's still a wooden fucking pickaxe. Day 29, I found another goat, and clearly didn't learn my lesson, because when I killed it, it dropped a stone axe. A good stone axe, to be fair, with a lot of enchants, but a stone fucking axe regardless. Bullshit. I spent the rest of the day throwing riches at piglins to get their balls, and then prepared to take out the ender dragon. Ah oh, yeah, 30 days in, and it's dragon killing time. Day 30, we made the eyes of ender and some waystone scrolls, and we set off. What happened here? We escape, we Are they all stuck in the oil? Mama. Are they all stuck in the- they're all- the entire town is stuck in this one oil spill. Big rip for you guys, honestly. Day 31, I found the stronghold, but that's not as important as this fucking goat! Yo! Why'd you ram into me randomly? You bitch! Come on, you funky fuck. No. Come on. Charlotte. Charlotte, you need to stop jumping. Charlotte. Charlotte, I dug the hole for you. Charlotte. Charlotte. You're, this is not gonna work. You're just not gonna go in this hole. Charlotte. Charlotte, you have so much health though. Oh, shit. Charlotte. Charlotte's being nice. No, Charlotte! I almost had you! You fucking bitch! You're the fastest entity. You're the fastest entity. There's never been anything faster than you. God damn it. Finally. Charlotte, no. Charlotte, I was messaging my bear. Charlotte, please. Charlotte, have a heart! It would be faster if I just beat you to death. Where are you at? Where you, I, will, I will fight you all day. This will be my entire day 31. You think I'm afraid? And I'm going to get like a wooden stick for it. But now it's personal. Now I don't even care. Now I just need this fucking goat dead. Damn it! Money, money, it's not losing money, health. Money, it's regenning all its health back. 
This 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 goat is invincible. This goat is invincible. This goat is invincible. Okay. Goat fiasco over. I did find the dungeon. And the loot in this place is pretty fucking wild. I'll never need ender pearls again. I also found a ton of gems and gear that honestly is obsolete at this point. But the absolute best thing I found was the enchantment book Endless Quiver. No! Blah, blah, blah. Yes! Endless Quiver! Oh! With this enchant, my bow, that I don't really have a good one of right now, will have infinite arrows of any arrow type. So poison, instant damage, slowness, anything, infinitely. Which is perfect, because I need a lot of arrows to bop this dragon. And speaking of which... Okay, fucked up the dragon, let's keep playing. Here's a big old boss enderman, which would be really intimidating otherwise, because I'm sure he could kill me as soon as he looked at me. But he's three blocks high, and I am two blocks high, and he cannot defeat a low-hanging ceiling. It took years to actually kill him, because he had so much defense, but when I did, he dropped a netherite helmet. Neat. Day 33, and you can tell this is a new recording, because my hearts are gone. Well, the containers are there, but I gotta build them up again. For some reason, the mod that gives me all the extra health via my gear, just whenever you log back on, all the hearts go away. That's fine though, we'll just get them back. But I digress. Let's go find Elytra and explore the end. Even though this is a new Minecraft edition that just came out, well, at the time of recording this, it's a little really punctual there, EQ. Even though this just came out, there's actually an end mod for it, so take that, Vanilla. Also, side note, can I just rant for a minute? It's been 12 years, Mojang. Can we update the fucking end again already? Like, you got a fortress once every 4,000 blocks, but there's no other reason to be in the end. Can, can someone can, can someone at Mojang just, like, just fucking, just, just update that shit, please? Please? I want the end to be cool, damn it. I did find a fortress, but there was no elytra in it. Then I found this neat structure, and I barely made this jump. <laughs> Spicy! Spicy! I found this insane looking dungeon that I shouldn't have explored, but I did anyway. Nearly got bopped, but I found a totem of Void Undying. So if I fall in the void, I've got a safety net. <whistles> totem of Void Undying. Well, in the void, that sounds pretty fucking useful. Day 34, I booked it the hell out of here and found Unobtainium, which should be the most overpowered ore in this game. 
it's not, but we'll get to that in a bit. Ending day 34, I found an end city map, and I'm 99% sure this will have a ship with an elytra. Yep, elytra. Now navigating the end is no longer super scary. And with that, I headed back to the land of the living. Day 36, and I'm running into a problem I always face in these 100 days. Food. I'm no farmer, and if you haven't noticed, my playstyle is just run into things and hope I succeed. But having no nom noms is gonna fuck me up, so I went searching for the best and easiest food to make. I came up with making bread. Cooking bread, bread making toast, toast filled belly, EQ happy. So I used hay bales to make such toast. I really should make a farm for this shit. Nah. Day 37, I set off for adventure and just a really a good place to build a home. That tiny house really isn't doing it for me, and I really just like building my own base. So I set off for bigger and better prospects and better land. What I didn't expect to find was this. That's my fucking dog! Okay, sorry microphone, that probably hurt. That's my fucking dog! What?! The fuck are you doing here, Shibi? Also, that pirate ship? had like no good loot in it. That's disappointing. Or I did trade for a beacon with a, a wandering trader, so that's pretty cool. And I think I found where I want to live. Like, just take in this view for a second. Did have to clear out some hostile spawners. That's okay though, because I got knowledge of the ages too. And that's fucking incredible. But we don't need it right now, so I'm not gonna tell you about that just yet. Day 38 through 40, a bit of a time jump here. I spent these next few days making a cave home. There weren't any substantial caves for miles though, so I had to make it myself. This was not worth it. I swear, if it wasn't for Vein Miner, I would have given up way earlier than I did, but I stuck with it, and at the end, it was looking okay-ish. Still got a lot of work to do, but we have a new cave home. Day 41, that's enough building for a bit though, so let's take on that blimp we saw. These blimps have a ton, and I mean a ton, of spawners. On the outskirts of the Zeppelin are these skeleton jockeys riding fucking phantoms. So I schmooved around the place to take out all of those as fast as possible. I did find lots of loot on here, but what I was really looking for was a totem of Undyne. You see, each of these blimps has a pretty good chance to have one, and oh, there it is. Duh! Yes! That's what I was- Yes! Oh, baby! Oh, baby! Day 43, and I'm still exploring all these little places I now live around, and I found a village. I locked away all the villagers in their houses for safekeeping, and went back home to figure out a good way to escort them to my cave. I'm trying to employ them. Well, no, that implies I pay them. Slave labor? Slave labor. I, I, think, I think what I'm doing is slave labor. Turns out all that we need are glass bottles and a shrink ray. So now I just go boop. You're mine now. Day 45, and for some reason, after being shrunk and regrown against their wills, these villagers don't really want to cooperate. So I took all day to get them to do what I want, which is lose their old fucking job, and get their new one that's right in front of them. I eventually succeeded, though. Day 46, now that that's done, I think it's time to start moving in, starting with lighting all the portals, including the Twilight Forest portal. Day 47, I'm putting all these silk touch ores everywhere to make it look more cavey? I don't know. It looks pretty. Also, I made a proper teleporter stand and started pulling all the shit from my old base to my new one. And using packing tape, I could seal these barrels without breaking everything so I didn't have to organize too much again. Still did a little bit of stuff, and it took about two days. But now that that's done, we're halfway through the 100 days. And I don't have a clue where the fucking warden is. He's on the thumbnail, and I don't even know where the man lives. No problem, there's a compass for this in this mod. Wither Compass, that's really, that's really nice. It's good, I, what a great mod. Wither Compass, work in progress. This is not yet meant to be craftable. So to craft it, we need gravitational modulating units, like everyone fucking has. The Glyph of Wither, you know, just, easy and then bedrock so instead of just not making a recipe so you can't craft it they just fuck you bitch bedrock good luck making it asshole or not is it just me or does this mod pack have more holes in it than swiss cheese in a fucking shooting gallery well the compass doesn't work because it's made out of bedrock so we're gonna have to go in blind I made a very rudimentary mine all the way to the bottom of the world, and I shit you not. No fucking way. Ah, well that fucking works. You would think it's scripted, boys. You would think it's scripted. Nope, I'm just a bitch. All right. Ah! 
Ah, shit. That is not the plan. The plan is not wake up Big Daddy Warden. That's not... That wasn't the initial plan. I'm not ready to fight you yet. Okay, well. Shit. Let's not say we did. I kind of already found it. Well, that means the Warden is around here somewhere, just not right here. I really don't want to fight the Warden yet, though. I'd much prefer getting a little bit stronger and then bopping his ass. I've seen the fucking vanilla videos. I've seen that you need, like, enchanted gapples and God's ass in order to win. Like, I, that's a problem. But I did find a Skulk biome, and of course, with Skulk biomes are Skulk sensors. So I'm kind of stuck. But I do have an idea. Bop slimes, make redstone bullshit, and some of you may already know where this is going. And ta-da! Carpet duplicator. Suck my fucking dick, warden. Now, I will step everywhere I please. And there's nothing you can do about it, warden. I will find this Ultimatium, and you can't stop me. The next day, I headed back down, and before I got to the Skulk Biome, I found a Piklin boss in Diamond Gear. I have no idea how he got down here, but that's not important. I started fighting him, and noticed for the first time, every time he hit me, my health went up. This was because my netherite helmet had health boost 3 on impact. So if I run these numbers right, I think I'm invincible. Let's test it. Fuck the warden gonna do. Well, why not? Come on. What you got, buddy? This might be where the 100 days ends. So where do I get to see him rise? There he is. Okay, you're way more recognizable than I thought. That'll be too dark. Sup, bitch? You are a pussy! I am better than you! Suck a dick! Ha! Ha ha ha! Ah! Yeah, bitch. Spawn another one, shit. Heart of the Deep Dark and Warden Carapace. Did I just spawn another? God damn it. Yup. Immortal. As long as this shit has durability, I'm unkillable. Oh my fucking god. Might need some balancing in this mod pack, I think. Day 52 and I found what I wanted. The Ancient City. Now, obviously, I didn't find this just to kill the Warden, which I've already done that a million times. I'm sure I'm on the Warden watch list somewhere. No, I found it to look for all the modium, what the game says is the best gear. And this ore can only be found in the deep dark. Best deep dark biome? An ancient city. Looking around was really hard though, because of my earlier antics, all the wardens just kept spawning one after the other. Oh, and if you're wondering, yes, they can spawn multiple at a time. My armor was really taking a beating, and that would surely spell the end for me if it broke, so I ran back home all the modiumless. I did fix up my gear and try a different dungeon, which was just disappointing at this point. Like, for real. My gear's kinda goaded, and I don't think this is intentional. <laughs> Day 54, same shit. So fuck this, we're just gonna farm. Day 55, I'm making a wheat farm to never have to worry about bread again, all the while trying to get it to look good. So I know it's not the most efficient way, but it's purdy, so fuck you, don't bitch at me. Day 56, we turned that toast into bread, and now we have food. All the way around. Wait, no, hold on. Speaking of food, I got my final hearts from SOL, and now I have a whopping 60 fucking hearts. Yeah, not broken at all. Later that day, I headed back in the mines where I found some crazy shit as always, but moreover got redstone for an upcoming project. David E7, I'm making mob farm fans. Can you guess what they're for? See, back about that blimp, there are two wither skeleton spawners right next to each other, so I'm gonna make a wither skeleton grinder for bones, skulls, and a fuck ton of XP all in one. This was a bitch to make, but by day 58, it actually did start coming together, and I got to put in the fans and millions of levers to make this bitch run. David E9, with a few more tweaks, she works and now I sit here for like a year. Day 60 with the wither skelly fragments and the normal skull drops, we are ready to fuck up a wither. Or a couple. Again, exactly like you did the last time. <laughs> Afterward. 
afterwards, I took all those blood, sweat, and nether stars to make the Immolation Blade, which does 13 damage, a little bit more than my normal 10 damage sword. But hey, progress is progress. Day 61, these fucking villagers are causing problems again. None of them want to be farmers. They want to grow up and get a cozy little cubicle job instead of taking this fucking composter and learning how to be a farmer. Day 62, I'm getting wood for lecterns because I didn't learn my lesson last time and I think these villagers are going to cooperate. Spoilers, they aren't. Genuinely, it took me a whole day to figure out what was wrong. The cosmetic barrels I was using over at my storage system was just beckoning these villagers to turn into fishermen. So I took all of those away, and now we can at least have some librarians. Side note, I got me a cat and I named him Hudson, so that's Pog. And now tomorrow I'll wake up and get mending finally, so I'll never have to- Son of a bitch! Well, can't sleep during a blood moon, so I reset villagers for mending all fucking night. I finally did get some kind of mending, and it might be the most cracked of combinations. This is the book of life mending, and it's probably exactly what you think. When I gain hearts, instead of actually gaining health, it gives me durability. Let that sink in. Here's the setup. When I get hit, I gain health. Now, some of that health goes to keeping my gear at 100% durability, and the rest goes to my 60 heart containers, making me and my gear invincible and everything around me fucking sad. Why do I break everything I play, guys? Like, fuck, I, it's been 50, 60 days, man, and I'm invincible. I don't think I can die. So now when I set up my mob grinder, I can comfortably get a little too close and just fix every bit of my bullshit OP gear. The only thing I need now to really make this stand out is all the modium gear. Oh, also while I'm sitting at this farm grinding, uh, I used a different sword than the immolation blade. I'm using my old one because I put Knowledge of the Ages 2 on it. This fucking enchant takes all the drops that it would normally give me, which was a fuck ton because these are special wither skeletons, and just turns it into XP. So in like four hits, I'm at 30 levels. It's fucking cracked. I don't know what else to tell you. Day 65, and I need netherite. I needed to make a better pickaxe, because clearly the deep dark isn't just going to give up all its ultimatia more easily, so I'll need a deep dark pick to get me there. Really, I just want one because it's overpowered, but uh, we got to put some lore in here somewhere. Also, finding netherite was literally this easy. I looted tons of shit on day 66. I also made me a netherite pickaxe, then using the carapace that the 900 wardens I killed dropped, and some echo shards I poached off the ancient city, I made the warden pickaxe, which of course became EQ's dick pick, as tradition. We were enchanting said pick, and got some good enchants on this bitch, except when it came to fortune. Fortune 2? Are you fucking with me right now? Also, another goat taunted me, so that's good. I will send you to the deepest part of hell, you motherfucker. I will kill you and everything you love. You hear me, you motherfucking piece. Day 68, I went back to the ancient city in the deep dark to look for all the modium ore. I looked around all day, and at the end of day 68, <gasps> it glows? I've been like squinting this whole time and the shit fucking glows? All the modium. That's right, bitch. And not a moment too soon. Because it's funny sex number day. And I'm not even going to give you guys the spiel this time. If you don't know, then you will. Because day 69, we built the 69 sign, bitches. Building the sign was strangely difficult. I fell like 50 times, but at the end of the day, it was done. Now, it's not finished, because I need to fill it in, but I don't have the resources for that just yet, so cliffhanger. For now, anyways, let's keep it rolling. Nice. Day 70, I took those few ADM shards I got and I smelted them down. I needed to do that to make ATM ingots, which combined with an ender pearl, I can make a teleporter to the mining dimension. More on that in a moment. I also took one of those ores, broke it down with a mortar and pestle, and then cooked that powder to make calcin... Cal... I don't even know how to pronounce that, and this is too much nerd shit. Basically, I make potion with ATM sight, like the gold or coal sight that we used before. But here's where this BS goes even further. I'd make three of these potions and add six blaze powder in a crafting table, we can make a charm that will last about two and a half minutes. Not much time, right? 
Well, when I click this charm and turn it on, I can turn it off immediately and give myself just five seconds of ATM sight for the cost of like half a second of the potion charm. I can use this for like forever and just in the mining dimension for the foreseeable future, always just rapidly click this and have all the ATM that I could ever need. So day 71, we're in the mining dimension and at Y90 slash Y10, anywhere in between there, it's just littered with ATM. And with fortune, and that leprechaun hat, and that charm, I just went to fucking town. It was so easy to get enough ATM for a full set of gear, so that's what I did. Later that day, I went home and made ATM gear to see if it was as good as the mod says. It's really not. It has infinite durability. Okay, already fixed that on my armor. No fall damage. I mean, that's kind of cool, but 60 hearts. Uh, come on. Good news though, piss weapons don't have any durability and are unbreakable and stronger than all the shit that I made before. So pretty much all my other weapons that I've spent all my blood, sweat, and tears on are obsolete. Yay! Now that would be fine if we could upgrade that to vibranium and unobtainium that I found earlier. But here's the thing. For some reason, all of those things just make fucking furnaces. You can make a vibranium furnace, an unobtainium furnace. That's about it! Thanks, game. That helps a lot. I can't even make the alloys that are in the creative menu. So this game just doesn't let you do anything with those. In other all the modium like mod packs, you can make vibranium gear, unobtainium gear, and then like the invincible, crazy, souped up, your mom actually loves you now gear. But no, you can't do that in this. This game just really isn't finished, I guess. Because some of the older mods like haven't been ported for 119 yet. But what I thought they would do is make, you know, like, ways around that. But no, they just kind of block off certain content until Ice and Fire and other mods are updated for it. And that's really frustrating. And I got fed up with it on day 72, so I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I had a pizza break. Yes, live on the 100 days, I went to go order a pizza. Is this the content you subscribed for? Because I hope so. I don't know why else you'd be here. It's pizza time. I'm ordering a pizza. Fuck this. Pizza break. Pizza break! Editor, keep this in! Thomas, it's pizza break time! Go get a- oh, we're getting a pizza. Papa John's, motherfucker. Papa John's! Eh, maybe I do Domino's. Hello? Lav, quickly! You're- I'm recording. You're on, uh, you're on the video. Fucking Domino's or Papa John's? What do I get? Penis. That's not- no. That's not pizza. Dick. No, this, those aren't pizza. All right, Domino's, thank you, you're great. I fucking hate you so much. <laughs> ah! so I have to choose how much of this I keep in and how much I don't. I'm also not pausing it. This is your day 70 fucking two. Are you happy? I, you better be. Choose two or more any $6.99 each. I'm down for a deal. Item available, Paza. I want Paza. Paza? Thank you. Attention, sometimes believing is seeing. This is one of those times where you can't see it on your pizza. <laughs> editor, editor, keep this in. Please, 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 please. This is way more important than anything Minecraft related. I, I can't, can I show this? I bet you I can. I bet you I can. Okay, I could show this. I could show this. Here, here. We're gonna put this on screen right now. We're gonna put this on screen. I've timestamped. Here's the pizza. Um, editor, if this leaks my information, please blur it. Please, for the love of fuck. Pizza is now on the way. We're gonna put it on a different monitor so we can together track it. We can we can watch this pizza uh, come together. <laughs> Hold on. Does this leak anything? All right. Yep. Yup, unhinged. I'm fucking stupid. Here we are. There it is. We're gonna put this at the top right of the screen until our pizza gets here, so everyone can track it with me over these next couple of days. <laughs> All right, guys. We got a pizza on the way. Day 73. This fucking guy won't give me apples because I just can't trade with villagers in this game. Fuck you. I hate them. Day 74, with my blood sugar rapidly running low and the pizza looking like it's not even existing, I went back to do some mind-numbing mining to get tons of ores because I'm hungry and I can't do things that require a lot of brain power right now. Day 75, the game didn't care about my needs because it just spawned a fucking blood moon.
No pizza, just Blood Moon. No one told me it's a Blood Moon! D76, I'm getting nether stars, no pizza, just nether stars. And this is starting to get a little suspicious. I'm so glad I have this documented. My domino sucks. It's been an hour. D77, I made my gears cracked out for the ever bright dimension, but hold up, hold up, hold up. Where the fuck is my pizza? I have to preface this with the fact that this is all 100% real. While recording this, this shit happened to me. It's been about two hours since I ordered this pizza. Now, would, I, I understand there's Minecraft on the screen right now. Don't pay attention to the Minecraft. It's not important. Just don't fucking worry about it. I went to the Everbright Dimension. I did some dumb stuff. You can watch it happen. You can watch the clips play out. But I'm not going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about pizza. It's been about two hours since I ordered this pizza at this point. And I mean nothing has happened in regards of getting it cooked or prepped or even thought about or conceptualized in the aether. <sighs> nothing. So I called the number that Domino's gave me, I'm not about to dox Domino's or myself, and I was put on hold for 20 minutes. Now, I live in a small town and my Domino's is like five minutes away. So this 20 minute wait is fucking ludicrous. Even worse, they still hadn't prepped my shit from the website, like the little tracker, it still said nothing. The estimate time was a 55 minute delivery whenever I placed the order, it's now been two and a half hours. So, my only solution, because I can't call Domino's, and I can't uh, have a pizza get delivered to me because it just doesn't exist anymore, is to get in a vroom vroom and head the fuck up to Domino's. So I walk in, and their phone is ringing off the charts, and no one fucking cares. They aren't, like, thinking about this phone. They aren't looking at this phone. They're pretending it doesn't even exist. I think they might think it's, like, music on Spotify or something, or maybe a Spotify ad. I don't know, but but the, the phone is not being picked up. There are two people in this store, one sweet lady just making pizzas, and what I find out to be the manager of this place. So I go up, and I say hi to this guy who is the manager. It's been two hours since I've ordered, and... They didn't even think about my pizza. So I tell the manager this, and they put in my address, they beep boop so they can see my order, and he tells me that they put my order on backlog because they only have one delivery driver, and that they weren't gonna make it. I swear, you don't want to see a hungry EQ. Even worse, you don't want to see a hangry EQ, because something in my brain snapped. The irritation combined with the hangriest I've ever been... I'm just like, all right, no one fucking told me. He goes, uh, you didn't receive a text? I'm like, no, I didn't. So can I get this pizza going now since, you know, it's been two and a half hours and you guys just decided, no, we're not going to make this one? He says, yeah. Then I ask him, hey, since I'm now my delivery driver, could we take off the delivery fee? What he tells me is he can go into carry out instead of delivery. He can switch what my order type is and we'll be golden. I said, cool, that's great. Meanwhile, just in case you forgot, the phone is ringing off the goddamn charts. I swear to God, they must be the most popular Domino's in the world or one person has been sitting on the line for like three hours waiting for Domino's to hear back from them. And I, I feel so sorry for that person. So maybe this was a little snarky of me, but like I told you, I'm hangry and I mean, I, I think they deserve it at this point, okay? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a perfect person. I just I was a little <laughs> a little, a little, a little salty at this point. Just just a little just a little, little little full of a little bit of sauce, if you will. Not pizza sauce, mind you. Nope, not none of that. So I was like, hey, I called you guys for like 20 minutes and you didn't answer. And he goes, he literally looks me dead in the eyes, chat, chat. I, I promise this is not a lie. I promise it sounds so bullshit, but this is verbatim what happened to me. Dude has the audacity to tell me that, yeah, we have someone specific managing the phones. <laughs> and I go, well, how's that working out for you? <laughs> but I digress. He changes my order and that, you know, the one I ordered about three hours ago at this point, and I get two medium pizzas, which online was $19 flat. This guy changes it to carry out and tells me it's going to be $26. 20, 26, $26. $7 more because I came up and got it myself instead of the delivery driver where whom I would have to have tipped. My brain fucking snaps, dude. I was like, it's more? Cause I went and got it myself? You wouldn't make it for me. Wouldn't tell me about it. This is now my only option to acquire a pizza from Domino's. And you tell me that's the best you can do. 
Now, I'm not usually someone to get mad or like be a Karen or anything like this, but I shit you not, you've heard the whole story. I hope in someone's mind it can justify what I did next, because I've been dicked over more than I can even like put into this story, right? <sighs> Little things like the manager, you know, having the same name as the guy that made my pizza in the first place, so clearly it was the manager's consensual idea to cancel my order and not tell me. All, all, just little shit like that, okay? So I hope it verifies and, and validates me saying, after I heard this from the manager, well then you can go fuck yourself. I'll be honest, maybe that's a little out of pocket. Do I regret it? Not one bit. He told me to leave, and I said refund my ass and I will. I got my refund instantly, and went and got a chili dog. Fuck that shit, man. So, you wanted to know the pizza story? There's your pizza story. What were we doing? Oh, fuck, we're playing Minecraft. Uh, Summoner Boss and the Everbright got booped. Woo. There is one more dungeon in this world, and we're gonna fuck it up. But I do have one complaint. I know I haven't talked about the blue skies much, but here we go. Maybe the game updated from when I recorded day 20 to now, but for some reason, it said all the modium works great. And, uh, that's bullshit. So now we're using this, like, diop side shit, and I feel weak and sad. My gear does work fine here, though, so once again, I'm way too powerful. Anyways, this dungeon fucking blows. It's a huge maze where everything is the color green. I did get a nature key, but I think I need four, so at the end of the maze, I had to trace my steps all the way fucking back. God, sure hope I don't have to do that again. Day 81, that villager, the gatekeeper, that knows about these dimensions, now sells me these keys. So I got four, and damn it, I have to do this fucking maze again. Anyways, let's fight a tree. Starlit Crusher, are you a tree? Is it a tree? Oh, it's a tree. What the fuck? What the fuck? This is an axe! Okay, pause on fighting the tree. I have to disclaimer here, this game is really stupid. Uh, or at least this mod pack is, and you can soft lock if you don't bring an axe in here. And everything else that I fought in this dimension dies with the sword, so I didn't know I needed an axe. Well, I'm now stuck. So I hope you will forgive and excuse me going into creative mode here and giving me an axe. Look, the 100 days ends here if I don't give myself a blue skies axe, because they didn't think to tell us that we need this, or maybe show it off, or by having, you know, an axe be good against all the enemies. Just fuck this mod, okay? Whatever. If you're gonna be mad at me at the comments, then whatever. Fuck you. This boss was still tricky because of how unprepared I was. I knew nothing about it, obviously, but I didn't bring a lot of food or health regen stuff. So I had to use a clever combination of letting him beat the shit out of me and eating breadcrumbs to win the fight. Yes! Oh. Okay. 20 minute fight later. Shit. The next couple days, I need an unholy amount of ADM, don't ask why, so I'm mining for the next few days, and I don't want to bore you with it, so cue the speed up. Day 88, I smelted all my riches and doubled the ADM with a hammer, so I have quite a lot of it. But smelting it's gonna be super slow, so using that carpet design from before, I made a super smelter that makes coal obsolete, so I don't have to waste any time in the furnaces. Yes, I know it's jank, every machine I ever build is jank, so get used to it, at least it works. Day 89, we're back in the same mine from like day 10, and I'm taking all the moss and vines and azalea. And look, this mod pack is like half done, so I'm kind of out of stuff to do, so we're just gonna make the house pretty. Day 90, I'm putting all the azalea in my caves to make it more cavey already. All right, fuck it, let's keep going. Day 91, all my ore has been smelted, and I'm making so many blocks of ATM. Just look at this shit. And you're gonna see what it's for right now. Yup, the most expensive ore in the game, I'm filling in my 69 sign with. But I don't have enough ATM, so fuck, I'll be RB. New no. waypoint. No. New waypoint. No. Narrator, Use no. Use mouse cursor or tab button to select element. Game menu. Game menu. Use options. Options. Use accessibility. Narrator. N narrator. Stop it. Narrator. Day 94, I got the rest of the blocks and finished the 69 sign, and man, it's 
fucking ugly. But who cares? Moving on. Day 95, I'm making these pretty river-like lakes. Okay, we gotta address this. This mod has a lot of game, but not a lot of end game, if you know what I mean. I feel like I'm already at the end of it. There's tons more content, but I think there's not enough to make a 200 days or make progressing even worth it. I'm already basically invincible. And I don't really know where to go from here. I'd love to make a 200 days of this if it gets finished, but until then, if you guys have any ideas of mod packs that would be more substantial for content, please leave a comment below with the name and I'll look into it. That being said, I did leave at least one more thing for these 100 days. Oh, and also subscribe while you're down there. If you didn't if you didn't already, you should do that. You should and, and, and like and subscribe and like and, and, and comment and share and then give it to your dog. And Day 96, I built an imbuement altar and got some structures built for the final showdown. Day 97, I couldn't end these 100 days without knowing what was on this fucking blimp. So I went to go rob it as well. There wasn't really much on this blimp. I mean, there's just lots of loot, but I already have lots of loot. Day 98, I'm fucking around because I need to waste a day. What, at least I'm honest about it. And finally on day 99, I used those imbuement altars to summon the Wilden Chimera. Here's your final boss. Whoa, Jesus! Yeah, just a second phase, just, oh, okay. He just chucked me in this, oh, he turned into the bat. Oh, and he explodes. Wait, it can fly. That was a challenge? Yeah, I feel challenged. This is a problem. He can regen. Oh, that's not good. Okay, my, my bow is kind of badass. Charge? Do you charge? Ever? Okay, there it is. Nice. Is he dead yet? That's not good. Oh, is he doing one of each type of the Wildens? Oh, this type sucks. You just sit here and die. Oh, okay, he spawned a lot of dogs. That's kind of annoying. Oh, no, he's got every phase. Three hearts. He took three hearts from me and my leprechaun hat itself. Good. Proud of you. Okay. Well, I think I'm too OP. There's like nothing I can do right now that can stop me. I think I've thoroughly broken this mod pack. Day 100, I think that's about it for this mod pack. Again, if you have any other mod pack ideas, let me know. Thank you all for enjoying this, though. I know it took a bit on this video, but this time of year kicks my ass, and I'm moving soon. Thank you all for being patient, watching, and subscribing, and stay tuned for the next content with the word fuck in it. I'm out. Thank you for watching. Eclipse is my name, or some shit. Peace.